In American sport, one game towers above all. To excel here is to become part of the game's lore. For its 40th anniversary, the Super Bowl's all-time greats were assembled. Lynn Swan, a lot of Pittsburgh fans right here to cheer on their hometown son and listen to the crowd, this time for Franco Harris. For Steeler fans, it was like coming home. Winning four Super Bowls in six years did more than make the Steelers the team of the 1970s. It made their fans believe the Super Bowl was their birthright and transformed their head coach into a legend. And so it is that a legacy of victory became a burden of expectation, borne by their current head coach, Bill Cowher. Hired to return the Lombardi Trophy to Pittsburgh, the native son nearly did, a decade earlier in Super Bowl 30. Snap, here comes an outside blitz. The pass is picked up, and open field. Cowboys should have it with that. To watch a dream die is a terrible thing. Good job, Bill! Oh. I'm sorry. We'll see in the locker room, okay? Oh. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Three more losses in conference championship games only increased the strain. Intercepted in the end zone, a terrible throw. The Steelers have not played up to championship four. For Bill Cower, the road to Super Bowl 40 had been as torturous as it was long. Though his dream had been deferred for a decade, Bill Cower lost neither faith nor focus. For Motor City native Jerome Bettis, the Super Bowl was a homecoming. And the bus's final stop in a 13-year career. That's real. Love you to death. Love you to death, baby. Let's have a big one, okay? Last all one, right. let's go all the time. Hey, let's finish up strong. Mike Holmgren had been to Super Bowls before, but the Seahawks had not. The heart of the Super Bowl lay beyond spectacle. It is the portal to the game's pantheon. These many terrible towels, this many Steeler fans, advantage so far, Steelers. And if ever a team was ready for a game, it was this team for this game. Greatness is only a few feet away from us. Nothing more than your best effort on every play. You play smart, you stay focused, and above it all, you play physical. Flash balls go off, the kick is high and deep, and we are underway. Even in the Super Bowl, finesse has its place. Seattle spent the first quarter using timing and tempo to move the ball. What you're seeing right now is the way the West Coast offense is meant to be run. It's a quick rhythm offense. Pittsburgh was off balance, but Seattle couldn't finish drives. Third short throws it down the field. It's caught first down, and the ball is loose. Is it an incomplete pass? It is at the 25. He put it, he put his right on the ball. There's no question. Take that thing away. Don't wait on okay? I just get the ass. Mistakes at midfield can hurt. Mistakes in the end zone can cripple. Matt's going to throw. Looks to the end zone. Now he scrambles. Has some running room. Now he fires to the end zone. Touchdown, Seahawks! Daryl Jackson! Well, I see a flag. Did a flag come out back there? Oh, no, it flag did. Daryl Jackson tried to make a little room for himself and pushed off. Ooh, that was a ticky-tacky call. Steelers just dodged the bullet there. To salvage something, the Seahawks settled for a field goal. The kick by Josh Brown is up, and the kick is good! Three, not a problem. The Steelers were unconcerned, but their quarterback looked unsettled. For the better part of the first half, Pittsburgh's offense misfired. Now he's got to get a first down. Senator is getting handsome. Hey, Sander, kid. Hey, my glove's too sticky. I don't break it in enough yet. Take the tone of that huddle, man. Let's get everybody going. Get in the rhythm. 
The Steelers needed a spark. Bill Cowher knew how to provide it. You have to get something going, maybe thinking about a... Uh, Watch the hole! A gadget, maybe. A reverse. They go to the end around. Hines Ward has room. He's at the 35. First down to the 40. Knocked out of bounds at the 45-yard line into the Seattle bench. It was an astute play call, and the knowledge it provided would prove invaluable later. Let's go! Good job! But the Steelers still had to settle their young quarterback's nerve. Play action fake. Ben is back. He's going to air it out. Down the right sideline. The pass will be intercepted. Michael Bulwer leaping high. They stop the Steelers' drive with 10-10 to play. Everybody settle down. Well, we're yeah. trying to do too much right now. Yeah. Listen, uh, when you start feeling cover two, you'd be smart. Take the check downs. Okay, it's first and ten. Just take what they give us. Just a matter of time before we get rolling. Right. It's just a matter of time. The playmaker right now for the Steelers has got to be Hines Ward. you got to figure out a way to take him out. The Seahawks couldn't seem to stop Heinz Ward. Ward even managed to get free in the end zone. Coming that close to a touchdown could have undone the psyche of his quarterback. Bill Cower made sure it didn't. You all right? Yeah. You're okay. You would have had to drive. You know, your break, your protection broke down on that. I know. Trust in what you see. If it's cover two, work the high low because they're all sinking back for the deep ball. Under four minutes remained before halftime. Trailing 3 0, Pittsburgh faced a third and 28 and a decision. Play for a couple of yards and a field goal or let it loose. Here's the snap to Ben in the empty set. He's back. He's going to scramble forward. He's going to pump. He's going to run to his left and settle. Look for an open man. He's going to fire it down the field. The pass will be caught at the three yard line. First down, Pittsburgh. Hines Ward coming back on that underthrown ball. You just witnessed the maturity of Ben Roethlisberger. He scrambles to his left. Wouldn't have made the first down, but he would have got himself in the field goal position. Settled right before he hits the line of scrimmage. Goes all the way back to the right numbers. And Hines comes back to the ball better than any receiver in the National Football League. How about a 37-yard pass on third and 28? Just what the doctor ordered. While third and 28 took audacity, third and goal simply took power. Third and goal with the one. A bootleg left. And Ben dies for the goal line, and he's going to be caught short of the... No! It's a touchdown, Pittsburgh! Ben hit the chop, bootlegging on the keeper left. He followed the bus and Dan Kreider, and he got to the chop and got it in for the score. It was bold, but the Seahawks doubted it was a touchdown. Seattle challenged the call. That ball never crossed the goal line. Well, Mike Holmgren's telling on the sideline, it wasn't even close. When he hit the ground, the ball was short of the end zone, and then he put the ball over the end zone. That ball looked like it hit the right line. I don't think it did. If you give it to me, I'll take it over the top, coach. I know. If it's fourth down, I'm going for it. Though. It's less than the yard. Let me go over the top, coach. As the officials watched the replay, even Steeler teammates debated the call. Shoulder that went down had the ball. But the shoulder was down across, but the ball was. I think the little tip of the ball touched it. I'll do so. I'll do so. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field stands. Nearly two minutes remained before halftime. Time enough for Seattle to drive. Time enough to make amends for their mistake-filled first half. Split backs again. Matthew drops back five. He looks right. Pump face. Throws deep to DJ down the right sideline. Is he in? No, he's out of bounds. If that play didn't epitomize a half of squandered chances, the next play did. Seattle will be trying a 54-yard field goal. Here's the kick. It's on its way. It's long enough. It's wide right. And the Steelers defense dodges a bullet. Oh, he missed it. The Seahawks see, having outplayed Pittsburgh for 30 minutes, they had almost nothing to show for it. We're up. Let's go. I'm not sure exactly how, but let's go. As the Rolling Stones played at halftime, 
Bill Cower made sure his team understood there could be no satisfaction without victory. Hey, that was not our best half, but you're up 7-3. Let's go. You took your best punch. We're fine. You settled down. Just keep playing. Just three plays into the second half, the Steelers' resolve exploded with stunning swiftness. And they hand it to Willie Parker. Finds a lane. He's on his way. Look out. Foot race, 45, 50. Willie Parker, 40, 30, 20, 10, 5. Willie, touchdown. Willie Parker, 75 yards. And this place is a Steeler maniac's haven. Let's go. Let's go. And that's why Willie Parker is the starter running back of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Because you give him a crease, and then all you see is his third. There is no substitute for speed. No. That boy is extra fast. Lightning right there, baby. The big boys up front were right to celebrate. Their blocks were perfect. That thing opened up so pretty. Did he even get touched? It was blocked very well at the point of attack by the Steelers. You get a couple blocks on the weak side just like that. He is gone. Willie Parker, a Super Bowl record, 75 yards scoring run. This ain't the one they wanted to play. Seattle's season was slipping away, one small mistake at a time. Another long field goal attempt by Josh Brown. This one is from 50 yards out. The spot, the kick by Josh Brown is up, and the kick is no good. And the Steelers dodge another three-point shot. Yeah! Oh, it's on right now. Yeah, let's be smart. Let's not, let's not play not to lose, okay? Oh, we're playing. We are going to play, trust me. You think I'm thinking about Listen, the no, he, 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 he was on the line. Listen, and he did it right. He's smart now. I trust you. You make, 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 it, make it pay. Steelers get good field position after the missed field goal. He throws to the near side. What a grab at the 48. I keep busting Hines about the fact that he gets manicures, and I'm never going to do that again because only if you have a manicure can you catch a ball on your fingertips off your shoelaces. Hey, Hines, Hines, that is a hell of a catch. The passing game yielded to the run. And the bus yields to no You can see the bewilderment on the faces of the Seattle Seahawks. Uh, you know, their body language. They can't believe they had what they felt was control of this ball game in the first half, and uh, they've lost it. Pittsburgh was at the two-yard line. The game, the championship, was theirs for the taking. Ben's going to throw. Drops back five. Got one out of the flat. It's picked off. He could go. The 30. The 40. Herndon has it. He's across the 40. The 30. He stumbled. Knocked down at the 20-yard line. Wow, what a swing this is. But that was a lollipop that Ben threw up there. Yeah, when I was watching, it looked like it just came out lower than you wanted it to. Let's go get it back. Right, Don't worry about that, baby. You better have a short memory now. Let's go. All right. Let's go. The interception gave the Seahawks the ball and a chance to make amends for their mistakes. Just over a quarter remain. Play fair. Bad looks. A lot of time. Throws to the right side. Got a man wide open. Touchdown. Seahawks are right back in it. They're back in the ball game now. You see momentum is clearly swung to the other side of the field. We can't understand the, the touchdown with the tight end. That's wide open. We better than that. Touchdown with the tight end. That's Jay. I know whoever it is, I'm saying hey. we better than that. Make them earn it. That's what the Super Bowl is all about, man. Yep. Come down 15 minutes. All the hard work we put into it. Come down to the last four. Trailing by four on their own two-yard line, the Seahawks knew the Lombardi Trophy lay 98 yards away. It was theirs, if only they could reach it.
In the NFL, character counts. In the fourth quarter of the Super Bowl, it counts just a little more. Seattle was perfectly poised for the go-ahead score. Remember this drive started at their own two. The 11th play of the drive for the Seahawks. First and 10 at the 19. Matt, play fake. He's in trouble. Now he throws to the middle of the field. Down to the one-yard line is Jeremy Stevens. Great catch by Jeremy as he hangs on. A flag is down. Oh, my goodness. It's coming back. A flag is down. That time, Sean Lockler got that arm out against Hagens. And they're going to call that every time. The Seahawks, if they had bad luck, it would be better than what they've had so far today. Every time they've made a play, it's been called back. That's on you! If the Seahawks' bench was in disbelief, their blocking scheme was in disarray. The sack forced a third and long, and yet another mistake. In a four-point game... Fourth quarter at 10.56. Third and long. Hasselbeck back. Throws it down the field. Intercepted at the six. Mike Taylor's got the ball running to the 15-20. Hit at the 25. Down at the 28. And now the momentum's back on the black and gold side. I can't tell you how many opportunities missed this is for the Seahawks. The pain on the Seahawks' faces was the haunted look of regret. You gotta let it keep playing now. We can't, we can't put the handcuffs on. History and the Lombardi Trophy beckoned. Pittsburgh answered. And they pitch it to the left, and now here's the handoff on the reverse to Antoine Randall. He's gonna throw it down the field. There's a man open. Touchdown, Pittsburgh! Hines Ward! Yeah! The Steelers score for 43 up on a gadget play that they worked on in practice on Friday. Perfection in any pursuit is rare. Under the glare of pro football's brightest lights, it is rarer still. Yet Pittsburgh managed just that. Perfection. That was deep into the bag of the Wizard Hunt tricks. Some men search a lifetime and never find such a moment. The Steelers seized it and embraced the rapture of perfection, if only for an instant. Hey, great block! That's a great block, baby! On the run, on the money. Hey, oh, baby, hey, that's big, hey, that's big, baby. That's big, baby. That's big, boy. I'm proud of you, man. It's not over yet, coach. I'll hug you in a second. I know. I'll hug you in a second. With an 11 point lead and only minutes remaining, the Steelers' pass rush was free to come and come hard. There is nothing more frustrating than being powerless to stem defeat. The Steelers were on the cusp of glory. It ain't no different than week one. We're going to do what we do, and we've been doing this since training camp. Take care of our business. One play, one, one play. play at a time. If you get this, it's over. For all practical purposes. This first down, and it's over. So it's third and a long two. Play action fake. Oh, there's Ben with the bootleg. Oh, Ben kept it. And he dives across the 40 for the Pittsburgh first down, and the clock winds to 345. The first down sealed it. The Steelers would be champions. And champions need no words. And that's your ball game! I'm <laughs> 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 <laughs>
shot on the count of three. Let's give a big high five. Here we go, Jamil. One, two, three. <laughs> a champion's smile can light a stadium. This the last one. I love you. I love you, I love you man. You Thank promised you. me, man, you came through, man. You're a champion, man. Thank you for everything, Buster. You hear me? Falling short is painful, but it needn't be permanent because perseverance pays. 13 years after being hired to win the Lombardi Trophy, Bill Cowher raised it, returning the Steelers to the pinnacle of the professional game and in the process, keeping an old promise to a friend. I, I've been waiting, I've been waiting a long time to do this. Mr. Rooney, this is yours, man. And for Bill Cowher to hand that big trophy to the Rooney family is what he's all about. To savor the victory was the Steelers' right. To celebrate it with Jerome Bettis in the final game of his career was a blessing. Enjoy it, man. Well worth it, man. Thank you. Coach, it's been an incredible ride. Thank you. Bill Cowher's quest has been fulfilled, his story writ large. But the Steelers' journey is not finished, for pride and remembrance have no end. They are now champions, and champions belong to the ages.